Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now today's topic, it's actually a cross of two of my favorite topics and that is science and animals and more particularly it's about puppies. All right. So today we're going to talk about the world's first puppies born to a surrogate. Now this word surrogate, that's the main idea of this whole article. Now what exactly is a surrogate? Now normally if a mother is healthy, then she will have the baby grow in her stomach and then the baby will come from her body. But let's say if the mother is sick and she's not healthy, then we would take her eggs and take it out of her body and put it into a different woman and then that woman will be the surrogate mother. Not the real biological mother, not the real mother, but the surrogate mother. We are only sort of borrowing her stomach to grow uh, this, the original mother's baby. All right? So, seven puppies were recently born after frozen embryos were implanted in a surrogate dog using the same technique that is performed in humans. So these frozen embryos, these are the very small sort of, you know how before puppies, they, when, they're very, when they're starting off, they start off as embryos, okay? So they are living things, but they're just kind of frozen. And uh, that's when we put this into the surrogate puppy or the surrogate mother, right? We're uh, putting it into a different woman. And this has been performed in humans. Humans have been doing this for many years. The success of the puppies born from in vitro fertilization. In vitro means outside of the body, like in a cup or something, in a lab, in a science laboratory. And fertilization is when the mom, the female, or the woman's egg and the man's reproductive cell, they come and they make a baby. That's fertilization, when the egg and cells meet opens the doors to new medical possibilities. IVF or in vitro fertilization is a common procedure or technique for humans in which mature eggs from the female are fertilized in a lab and then placed inside the mother's body to grow. So again, normally this all happens inside of the mom, but in this case, in vitro means we take it outside of the mom's body in a science lab and we sort of make the baby outside of the body. The litter of puppies, the group of puppies, is made up of beagles and beagle spaniard crossbreeds. So this is, um, well, they're made up of beagles, so meaning the, the whole part of it is beagles. So for example, a hamburger is made up of lettuce, cheese, tomato, and bread. A pizza is made up of cheese, uh, actually probably the same things. But again, this group of puppies is made up of these different kinds of dogs. They were all born in the same litter from the same surrogate mother. So they're all born at the same time from the same mother, not the real mother, but the surrogate mother. But there were three sets of parents that scientists used to create the embryos. So again, although they came when they were born, they came from the same puppy mom, I mean dog mom, but they uh, were fertilized using other dogs, right? And then when they fertilized it, and then they put it into this one surrogate dog, uh, which means the fertilized egg. The procedure failed many times. It was not successful. It didn't work many times during the past decades or tens of years, 20s of, uh, 20 years. Before this first litter was born last summer, all the pups are healthy. Their names are Ivy, Cannon, Beaker, Buddy, Nelly, Red, and Green. Because dogs and suf uh, humans suffer from many similar diseases, we get sick in the same ways, scientists say Successful IVF, in vitro fertilization, in dogs means they could identify genes, sort of look at our DNA, and they can uh, learn more about it, that carry diseases and fix them. So if they look at a baby's blood, then they can look at the DNA and the genes, and they can maybe fix it uh, from what they learn from this. 
The procedure could also help conserve or save endangered animal species, scientists say. So not only dogs, but maybe even lions or rhinos or just animals that are endangered, that are almost extinct, we can help save these animals by using this technique. All right, so uh, we have three key uh, review questions here. First one, how were the seven puppies born? The seven puppies were recently born after frozen embryos were blank in a surrogate dog. So again, these frozen embryos, uh, it's outside of the body. We get it from different dogs, from uh, one dog mother and one dog father. And then we have, when we mix it, it becomes an embryo. And then we take this embryo and we put it inside the surrogate dog's uh, body. And when we're putting it inside, uh, it may be a familiar word, we say implant. So just like when we plant a seed in the soil, we can plant this frozen embryo in the dog. All right. B, what is in vitro fertilization, IVF, which resulted in the birth of the seven puppies? IVF is a procedure commonly used for humans in, wheat in which mature eggs are blank in a lab and then placed inside the mother's body to grow. So, first of all, we have an egg from the mother and we have a sperm cell from the father. And when we put those together, they form an embryo. And when we are making an embryo, we have a special name for that. When a mom's egg and a dad's sperm, when they meet to make a living thing, we say that is fertilized. So it's again, when a mother's egg and a father's cell, they uh, come together and they make a baby. When these cells are making babies. So, C, what type of breeds are the seven puppies? The litter of puppies is blank of beagles and beagle spaniel crossbreeds. So, in this litter, in this group of puppies being born, there are seven of them, and they're all a little bit different. Some are from this group, and some are from this group, but together, they are the seven puppies, right? So when we're talking about the small parts, when we put them together, uh, we say made up of. So I gave you the pizza and hamburger uh, example before. We can say, uh, again, a pizza is made up of um, cheese, pepperoni, mushroom, vegetables. When we put it together, it's a pizza. All right? Okay, we have three key terms here. A. The success of the puppies born from in vitro blank opens the doors to new medical possibilities. So they give you a really big hint here. I, V, in vitro, F. What is that F, right? Again, the main idea of this is to make a living thing, make a baby. Whether it's a make a new puppy or make a new human or making a new plant, right? When we take the cell, the small cell that we can't even see from the mother and from the dad, when we put it together, make a living thing, we say that is fertilization. Okay? B, they were all born in the same litter from the same blank mother. So again, it's not from their real mother that they were born from. Their real mother is somewhere else, okay? This mother is only just a temporary thing it, we're just kind of borrowing her body. I, I know that sounds a little weird, but it's actually from the title, surrogate mother. So again, it's not your real mother. Surrogate mother is just when we take the eggs and we put it in a different mother, surrogate mother. C, the procedure blank many times during the past before this first litter was born last summer. So this procedure, this sort of um, technique or this sort of uh, job that they want to do, this sort of experiment that they want to do, they tried it many, many times and it was not successful. It didn't work, uh, something went wrong, it just didn't work out. So we say that is failed. So to fail is the opposite of succeed. 
So you win, you succeed. If you lose, you fail. All right. So to review, fertilization again is when the small uh, mommy cells and the small daddy cells, when they meet together, that is called fertilization. Surrogate is when we is a different person. It's not your real mother. It's a surrogate mother. Is when we take that fertilized uh, embryo and then we put it into a different woman or a different mother, that is a surrogate mother. Fail is the opposite of success, uh, is to lose and is not to complete your mission. All right? So I know next, later on you'll learn about this more in detail, but I hope that this time was a good introduction course to you. All right, so thank you for joining us for Junior Times today. My name is Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.